did drop some moderate rainfall and they had all that lightning. Again, uh, Bel Air down towards West U, back towards Katy, western sides of the metro saw this. All right, we've got so much rain that has fallen and we've got that humidity returning. So take a look at downtown. Can't even see it. There's a lot of fog and there's even a little bit of kind of that mist or drizzle in the air. 67 now humidity, relative humidity at 100% as our dew points are still in the 60s. Let's take a look at radar here. You can see a lot of the activity to our south and moving off to the east. This should begin to move out over the next few hours as it already is, and we will see things clear out by this afternoon. All right, mid to upper 60s right now. Doesn't feel all that bad. Look back towards Bastrop in the 50s, 56 and 63 LaGrange, 66 in Hallettsville. But take a look. There's that cold front just to our north. Back behind it, temperatures are already falling into the 40s in Amarillo, 44. Dallas is at 59. Oklahoma City, though, falling down into the lower 50s. Parts of Kansas in the 30s and 40s. So that cooler air is coming. It is going to help us out. All right, let's talk about this front. Okay, now as we go through the next few hours here, we're still going to see kind of the warm and humid air trapped uh, along with the rain all across the south and southeast. Watch what happens here. That cooler air, this one again comes in from the north and even from parts of Canada. Take a look at the green and yellow contours. That's the cooler air sweeping in from the Arctic all across the lower 48 with the exception of Florida and the far southeast. So for us, it is going to reach the Gulf of Mexico by late tonight, and we're going to see this front move through. Let's look at future track here and time this out by 2 o'clock. I think it's knocking on our doorstep College Station over towards Lufkin. We're still warm in the 70s, but then look at that. It'll cross through late this evening between 8 and 10 o'clock. That's when we see the temperatures drop, and I think tonight we'll see temperatures down into the 50s and drier air. It'll be really nice for us. All right, let's take a look at the eastern Pacific. Two storms ongoing. One is still a disturbance, and then Tropical Storm Vicente formed. Let's try track these notice the spaghetti tracks take these both to the north and they will likely be ripped apart and sheared apart over parts of Cabo and then northern Mexico where the mountainous regions come into play but we'll still see remnant moisture from that it looks like move into the state as we head in towards the middle of next week so get ready for more rainfall something that uh, we certainly don't need especially central Texas especially south Texas uh, parts of the state that have already flooded over the past week or so all right 75 for a high this afternoon before the front comes through dropping down then to 59 and then notice up to 71 on Sunday. Best bet for rain next week is coming in on Wednesday. Chance of thunderstorms mixed in with some of that tropical moisture after that temperature should stabilize in the 70s. Look at this the highest high temperature I have for you only 77 next Saturday. So we are really changing now after these cold fronts come in week after week.